the equation of the line tangent to the curve y equals 1 over x at x equals 3. And let's draw a rough picture of what's going on here. So I'm looking at this branch of 1 over x and um, it has a vertical asymptote at 0 so let me make it a little steeper here. And we want to look at x equals 3. So let's say that x equals 3 is maybe out here. So we have the point x equals 3, y equals 1 over 3. That's our point A, F of A. So again, we have a point 3 comma 1 third, and we need to find a slope, and then we can use point slope form. So the slope here is going to be F prime of 3. We're looking at the function f of x equals 1 over x, which is x to the negative first. By the power rule, f prime of x is negative 1 x to the negative second, which is negative 1 over x squared. And so f prime of 3 is negative 1 over 3 squared, which is negative 1 ninth. So our slope value is going to be a negative 1 ninth. I like to do quick checks just throughout the problem to make sure things look good. And notice that this tangent line that I've now drawn in clearly has a negative slope. It's a decreasing function. And so the negative 1 9th looks good. Notice that this tangent line is going to have a positive y-intercept. It's going to cross the y-axis somewhere up here. And so when we put our result in, slope-intercept form, we should see a positive y-intercept. Okay, so we have y minus f of a equals f prime of a times x minus a. Again, that's simply point-slope form. So f of a is our one-third. Up here, this one-third is our f of a. a is 3, and so we have y minus one-third equals slope, which is negative 1 ninth, times x minus a, so times x minus 3. And now we can clean things up and get our, our final form in slope-intercept form. So we have y equals negative 1 ninth x. We'll have a plus 1 third plus another 1 third, so we'll have a plus 2 thirds. And like I mentioned, we were expecting of course, the negative slope, and we were expecting a positive y-intercept. And we can see both of those. Again, if you compare our, our result with a y equals mx plus b sort of form, we have the negative slope and we have the positive y-intercept. So that concludes this tutorial, and we have the two further examples if you'd like to look at those.